Hi, I'm Andy, a collection specialist at Credit Sage, and my goal is to help people learn how they can remove Wilshire consumer credit from their credit report. And, and actually, this is in many cases without having to pay the debt at all. So if that's you or someone that you know, um, I, I'm confident that you're going to walk away from this video knowing what the next best step is to take. Uh, now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't take action. You know, if, if for example, you know or, or you believe that Wilshire Consumer Credit or actually any of the other accounts on your credit report are the result of identity theft, um, or uh, if, if they have the wrong balance after you've already paid, um, you know, or any other major issues that are really affecting your life, you may be owed a settlement. And we work with a network of local attorneys that will work on your behalf at zero cost, win or lose, um, and in addition to getting the accounts permanently deleted. So, uh, so that's something to keep in mind. But if there's no issues like that that exist and you just want the account removed from your credit report, we can help with that too. Uh, give us a call today. I'll put our number in the description below so you can find that. But today I want to go through some of the most important questions that I get about this company. And the first one that I have here I think is really important. And it is, can you be arrested or get jail time for a debt with Wilshire Consumer Credit? And I, I put this one at the top of the list because we get a lot of callers that are terrified that this could happen. And, uh, you know, it makes sense. I mean, few people are really taught how um, uh, credit and debt work in school. Uh, you know, I didn't know about this until I got into the business. And uh, fortunately, unless the debt is related to specifically unpaid taxes or unpaid child support, you cannot be arrested or get jail time. So there's no need to worry about that. Um, the amount of the debt doesn't matter either. Uh, you could refuse to pay $1,000 or a $1 million and you will not be arrested or get jail time. So, uh, so now who is Wilshire Consumer Credit and why are they on your, your credit report? So um, they are what's referred to as a debt collector or credit collection agency. And what they do is they buy... Uh, debts, unpaid accounts like credit cards, for example, um, often for very cheap. And then they try to collect the full amount. Okay. So uh, I'll give you an example. Let's say, you know, that you have, um, for whatever reason, unpaid card with Capital One. And, uh, and it's $1,000. Wilshire Consumer Credit could, uh, in theory, come along and buy that debt for just $100. But they don't try to collect that amount. They try to collect the full $1,000 from you, which gives them a 10x return on their investment. So, yeah, I mean, these companies can make a lot of money. And damaging your credit score by reporting the debt to your credit report is a primary strategy that they have to get you to pay. Um, but, you know, what a lot of people don't know is that Paying a debt that's on your credit report does not actually remove the account that's attached to it. That account will sit there for seven years, damaging your score, whether it's paid or not. Uh, so a lot of times, actually paying it isn't in your best interest and could just be a waste of your money. Now, in uh, uh, rare cases, paying the debt can even hurt your score further. Um, in addition to credit reporting, they may send scary letters. Uh, they may call a lot. They may even call your, your family members or colleagues. Um, and again, if a, a collector has ever threatened you or harassed you during non-business hours, you may be owed a lawsuit. So again, that's another case that you'd want to give us a call so we can connect you with a local specialist that will take action quickly. Um, should you negotiate a settlement with Wilshire Consumer Credit? So... The answer for this is uh, settling your debt with Wilshire Consumer Credit really depends on your goal. Um, typically, if you are wanting to improve your credit score, paying isn't the best option. Uh, and the reason is, like, like I mentioned before, even if you pay that collection, it will remain on your credit report for seven years, damaging your score that whole time. So, so instead, I always say, 
you want to work with an expert like us to remove these accounts for you. Uh, because what we do is we review the accounts and if certain issues exist, then we can work to get the account removed entirely. And this is a win-win. You see, you won't have to waste money paying a, a debt that won't ultimately help your, your credit score. And that negative account that's hanging out on your report gets removed. So it's, it's really, it's quite perfect. Um, so how do you remove Wilshire Consumer Credit from your credit report? So the... The Fair Credit Reporting Act gives every person the power to challenge information on their report. Now, I will say that the knowledge required to do this is, is a bit more involved than it might seem. Um, I'm not saying that you shouldn't learn how to do it, uh, you know, but, but just be prepared to spend weeks, maybe months, really learning how to do it properly. Uh, however, if you hire a professional to handle it for you, you can ensure that it's done properly the first time. You can save that extra hassle and time put into it. And, and that's what we're here for. We're happy to take care of it for you. Um, we've dealt with Wilshire Consumer Credit Accounts many times, and they regularly have issues. And, and we've helped numerous clients deal with those issues. Uh, and, and we'd be happy to take care of it for you, too, if you'd prefer. Um, how can you get Wilshire Consumer Credit to stop calling you? This is a big one. So uh, like I was talking about before, Wilshire Consumer Credit calling is, is their attempt to collect the debt they've purchased, right? Uh, which really just means that the, the only reason that they're going to stop calling you is if you settle your debt with them, right? Or you work with a company like ours to potentially have them removed from your report altogether. Oh, uh, let's see. Will Wilshire Consumer Credit try suing or garnishing my wages? Uh, another scary thought. So um, Wilshire Consumer Credit suing is unlikely. Uh, I will say it does happen. It can happen. But really, in our experience, it's rare. There are a lot of laws around how long they can sue for, what they can do if they win. And it's just a long process. Um, However, why risk it? You know, if, if we're able to find certain issues with the account, they won't be able to collect it all, which is another benefit of using an expert. Um, what are my rights when dealing with Wilshire Consumer Credit? I get this question all the time. So you have the right to dispute any of your debt that Wilshire Consumer Credit has purchased. Wilshire Consumer Credit is governed by the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, the FDCPA. Uh, and then, as I mentioned before, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the FCRA. Um, again, the, these acts can seem very complicated when you look at them, but they provide a great deal of power to the consumer if you know how to use them properly. But uh, there again, if you don't have time to research these acts, that's not a problem. Give us a call today. We'd love to sit down and discuss with you your options. Um, again, I'll throw our number in the description below, and we look forward to hearing from you.